Hi everyone, welcome back to the uh, episode. If you're if you're a veteran listener, well, listener, welcome back. If you're new, thanks for uh, finding us, and uh, um, I hope that you will watch or listen to the other episodes. And we have Hans here, always with us. Yeah, Mr. Hans, Mr. Master Hans, Master Hans, Mr. <laughs> Hans, Paganini. He's the Paganini of dog training. <laughs> I remember that one of the episodes. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, you said it. Yeah. Uh, kind of funny, but um, we're gonna talk today about crating. So you, you, you <laughs> cannot take yourself too seriously, you know. No, if you can't laugh at yourself, yeah, like, but, then you then you have you're miserable. You're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so crating. Um, I mean, there's all not all sorts, but you have crating at home. You have crating in the car. Yeah, what kind of crates? Da da. Yeah. Can talk about all that. Yeah. All right, so so you know crates are a big deal about you know uh, which we use and there's you know we sh- they're not just for shipping of course when you ship the dog you gotta have a crate obviously but there's other reasons to have a crate first of all what kind of crate you want basically you have two basic types of crate with solid walls either made out of plastic or some kind of a sheet metal mm-hmm. or the the ones which are wire made yeah. out of wire crates. <laughs> He's po- pointing at me. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from those, no, right? From the wire ones. You know? right. So, so what do you, people say, well, it's cruel to put the dog in a crate for a long time. Look, here's the deal, man. The dogs sleep at least 18 hours a day. They're predators. They sleep, Yeah. you know, a lot. And then they wake up at night and go mm-hmm. hunt and kill something and eat it, right? Yeah. And that takes a few hours, two, yeah. three, five hours at most. Yeah. And the rest of the time they just lay down. If you leave the dog alone and won't do anything with them, they will just sleep. Yep. Right? Now, of course, if you don't do anything with them ever, then they become crazy and yeah. start spinning in the crate or, or, or just become compulsively yeah. misbehaving and all that and developing problems and separation anxieties and all that. Yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about you have a <clears throat> sound relationship with your dog you do things with the dog but now and then you gotta put it in the crate and 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 i would say it's perfectly okay to keep the dog in crate for up to 16 hours uh-huh. i have no problem with that because all the time the dog sleeps we ship dogs and all that they stay there yep. and they're fine they come the crate yeah oh, okay here i am they wake up and yep. they're in los angeles airport yeah LAX and uh, I know I picked up Yuri yeah, and, and they have fine. no problem, yeah. right? Yeah. They come and they go pee and you give yep. them a treat and they're fine, right? Yep. So, 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 so the concept of the of the crate also is is very natural, okay? And that's why I'm, this is the reason I'm going to talk about is the reason why I don't think the wire crates are the best uh, way to go, and and the reason for that is. Because crates is, is akin to a den. Dogs feel comfortable inside of the den, right? Yeah. And like, let's say these days the airlines or the FAA or whatever passing these crazy rules, they want you to have a gigantamous crate. You can put a lion in it or <laughs> elephant, yeah. right? Yeah. They want the dog to just be able to stand up without ears, tip of the ear, never touching the top. You know, they want the dog to be able to dance inside of their, uh, yeah. of their, of that crate, like uh, chardash. Yeah, chardash. <laughs> the Hungarian folk dance. Hungarian dance. Folk dance. And uh, uh, Gabor being originally <laughs> Hungarian. Hungarian. Yeah. yeah. Know, just making jokes like that. Anyway, so, so, so the dogs actually like small crates, right? They should be able to turn around and all that. But it doesn't matter. They can. It's like a den. It gives them. It gives them comfort, mm. being in small crate. Okay, smaller it's crate. It's like a look at a wolf den or a fox den. Right. right? They're, they're or... just a small round thing. They're there. You know. Yeah. They can maybe get up, and when they go out, they they almost crawl. Yeah. You know. And uh, I used to have a female man, and she had a choice. Uh, to go into any crate she wanted. And yeah. she would always pick up the smallest crate. She was like turtle, man. Uh-huh. You know, she was pressed, the walls were bulging. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. But she loved that crate. Yeah. And that has something to do, I think, with the, <laughs> the, 
with the squeezing the dog with the, 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 the uh, yeah. uh, Chapel Grandin. Yeah, Te you know? Temple Grandin. Temple, yeah, temple, temple, Grandin. temple, That's temple, Chapel, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Temple Grandy, you know. This, uh, this is how Hans's brain works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Animal in translation. Yeah. Right. And she yeah. talks about squeezing and all that. So they, yeah. she she put herself in that crate, yeah. and she was all squeezed up there. She loved it. You know, it's so funny, uh, Urena, the female. We have this big open living room. I mean, it's big. It's like we, that's yeah. how we designed the house. You can hear echo of your voice in that. Echo, and not always, but. Time to time, there's a little space between the sofa and this by the TV. It's so yeah. small. She goes in there. Yeah. So this, it is 100% true what Hans yeah, is I have, saying. I have yeah. this old dog. Her name is Zuma. And, and, and she, 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 I have a pretty big bedroom about the size of this room. Yeah. And there's a little space between, cuff, between the nightstand next to my bed and this wall. And she can barely fit there. And she always presses herself into that little tiny space. So it's, They like that. Yeah, they like that. It gives them comfort, yeah. you know. And uh, it's akin to the thunder vests and all that, you know, mm -hmm. which people mm -hmm. put. It gives the dog comfort or our squeeze the dog. Yeah, and then Hans talks about that training too. We don't want to drift into that, but how you squeeze the dog with... I mean, it's a whole mind thing, too. Right, yeah, you have to be, but, yeah. yeah. All right, but, that's from yeah. the Temple okay. Grandin. Chapel yeah. Grandin, so, whatever. Yeah. Temple. <laughs> I know. What temple Grandin. <laughs> Chapel. Chapel, <laughs> Temple. Yeah. Church. Church Grandin. <laughs> Cathedral Grandin. Cathedral. <laughs> uh, but it's true. I, I like that book, man. That's yeah. a good book. But, and, and anyway, so yeah. uh, so so don't, 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 don't think that crate has to be big. That's all. This big talk is all about the, yeah. the, the, the medium-sized crate, you know, <laughs> so the dog feels comfortable in that crate, and uh, you put the dog in, you know, the dog can get in that crate, and it's like a den. Yeah. Where if you put them in the wire crate, yeah, that wire crate, the dog feels like on a display, okay. and it actually causes anxieties in the yeah. dogs. Okay, yeah. plus they are not really sturdy; they are flimsy, yeah. and dogs just. Yeah. Break out with it well if they decide to. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing is uh, uh, where to put the crate in the house. Uh -huh. Right? This is a big deal. Okay. As far as I'm concerned. And dogs are concerned. Yeah. So so people, you know, don't put it in a garage or some spare room, you know. The best place to put a crate is where, where the dog can see the cross section of the house. What is cross section of the house? Every house is one and bigger house, two places through which you have to go from one part of the house to another part of the house. Mm -hmm. Right? So, for example, in this room and that room over there, the cross section would be that door. That door, yeah. Right? So, you got if you want to go from one place to another, you got to go through that door. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be door. It could be just open space. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a bedroom on one side yeah. and hallway on the other and kitchen on the other. Yeah. And, and, and usually there is a cross section through which you have to go through one place to another. So the tra you're talking about the traffic, basically. The traffic, right yeah. and you're yeah. walking. Yeah. And you want to place the crate in such a way so that the dog can see that cross section. And you found this out just over the years that it's just my seems experience. To, yeah, okay. me being master dog trainer, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 why? 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 Well, the it? dog likes to know what's going on. Okay, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the same concept as the dog constantly keeps your the eye on you. Anyways, doesn't matter where it's at. It's it might right, be they go laid down to the bathroom, but, right? But they're looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And if they cannot see that cross section, so remember exactly. the story of the match sleeping on that landing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She could control what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. You so know, they, a sheep herding dog will lay under the tree so he can see the herd of the sheep, okay. so he can guard them. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Logical. Yeah. 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 So, so the dog uh, uh, knows what's going on. Yeah. Right. That's that's it. Okay. And if you have two of them, hopefully. Um, the dog can see both of those cr uh, cross sections if, if the house is two of them. The big giant houses, if maybe okay. sometimes two of them. Okay. okay. So, 
so that's that's another that's one thing, and that's mainly for day. And at night, especially when you bring a little puppy home from import you just got, or you know, or you just yeah. purchase a puppy, yeah, put that crate next to your bed, uh-huh. okay. That another crate, you know, uh-huh. you kind of two crates, uh-huh. right? So put one crate right next to your bed, okay. So the dog. And and you know what? Why not to leave the dog loose? Because they're gonna mess with something and chew your leather couch, right? Yeah. Or so eat, eat or, or chair, right? So so you put it in that crate right next to the bed, and uh-huh. they 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 bonding that way because they're sleeping with you. Mm-hmm. That's why dogs like to sleep with you in the bed. Yeah. You know, like my dog Sarko, he loves he sleeps with me in my bed. Yeah. You know. And uh, and and, yeah. and uh, it's okay. It's, you know, it's just a dog and human yeah. relationship. Yeah, it, it builds relationship, and sometimes you know, uh, in my bed, and usually it's only when I invite him, right? Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And and the, and the his other favorite spot is right next to my bed, right next to it, right? Yeah. But he's old hand, and he's not, I know he's not gonna piss on corners and uh huh. Can... Destroy things, yeah. but while I'm sleeping, but uh, but you need to. Uh, so you can put the dog in a crate, and and, they're, yeah. and you know, and they're fine in their crate overnight, you know, yeah. in your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Being with you, right? Yeah. Again, don't put the crate in the garage, right? Yeah. It's just like that's horrible. Yeah. Dogs are pack oriented animals. Yeah. And they need to be with you, otherwise you create frustration and you start developing behavior problems. Yeah. We learned. Uh, I learned the hard way with the uh, Kai, the male. I went on a trip and uh, and uh, it was in the hotel room and I just let him loose in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad and, idea. And, uh, oh man, he wanted to like, anything that moved in the hall just was barking at it, like wanted to tack it on top of that, was constantly, I heard him. And uh, they will scratch under the door and rip your carpet off. Yeah, in and the just bed moving, like laughing. For, oh my gosh, like, it was the longest night and uh, I, took, I called my wife, I'm like, you're not going to believe, but I mean, this was just hell. You know, and then then I figured out it has to, he has to be in a crate, like yeah, that gives them comfort. Comfort, yeah, yeah. yeah. Another yeah. thing is a crate in a car, right? Yeah, crate in a car. Yeah. So, so when you're transporting the dog, I have a giant F three fifty pickup truck with crew cap, and I have a crate on the back seat, and and the dog is just there for like freaking years now, you know. Yeah. And and. And the dog stays there. And the reason is you hit something or so the dog doesn't fly through a windshield, right? Yep. yep. And um, and so, um, plus it, 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 in Arizona, you have an AC going, right? Yeah. So it, it, when it's hot. Yep, yep. Right? And uh, you can get a monitor and, and which will kick your cell phone if, if the heat goes yep. up. Yeah. <coughs> but... Uh, but you can you can um, you know keep the dog safe in accidents and he doesn't jump at you excited. I have a good story about that. I used to when I was uh, in my other life when I was much much poorer. I'm still poor, but then I was much much poorer than I'm now. So that was the days when I was figuring out: Am I gonna feed the dogs or am I gonna eat? Right? And uh, I had this dog, and. Um, we were driving on baseline, and I had this Bronco, and I took all the seats out except the driver's seats because, uh-huh. because where I lived, the water was really hard, so I had to be stealing water from Circle K down the street, <laughs> right? So I had, I had like 15 buckets, uh-huh. five gone buckets. So you needed the bag. And there was a spigot on the side of the Circle K, so I always went there and, uh-huh. and fill up the buckets, put a lid on them, and put them in the back of my Bronco. Uh-huh. And uh, it was this big size Bronco, nineteen eighty one. Yeah. yeah. You know. And and so um, I had this dog. I don't know if it was Jake or let's say it was Jake. I think it may have been Jake. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so doesn't matter. And so so he was always laying down. I didn't have him in the crate, you know. Yeah. And so I had him in the back. Uh, the air in that space where normally would be the buckets with the water and yeah. hauling dog food and stuff that yeah. before I fed the raw. And um, and I'm coming on baseline to across to the intersection, 40th Street, I think it was. 
and red light comes on, so I stop, and I kind of put a little bit too far into the crossing, and some guy was walking by my car, right, my truck, and as he walked, we nonchalantly put hand on the hood of my car. It was enough for Jake. Yeah, it was Jake. It was enough for Jake. It brought him over the edge, right? That somebody put hand on uh-huh. the truck. And I could see in the corner of my eyes, eye, right eye, he just flew and hit that windshield, man, with, with his head so hard that it, it, the windshield looked like you put a, you hit it with a brick, you know, just and a spider web, it. Yeah. just boom, right? Yeah, it was Jake for sure. <laughs> and, uh, and and then he kind of like was so stunned by yeah. that hit on that windshield, yeah. right? Yeah. And and but it took only like two seconds to, to regain his uh, bearings. Yeah. And and that that window was all shards and stuff, right? Yeah. And I'm looking at it like I was stunned too, right? Yeah. But what the heck it just happened? <laughs> and 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 he started chewing on the sharded um broken windshield. So he cut it. And he cut himself and the blood was smeared oh. all over the windshield. So right? this poor guy. And this guy is standing in front of my truck and I thought his, uh, his eyes are gonna pop out of his head. <laughs> he was just I think ter- that's the last time he put he a was hand just at- terrified, you know. And, and I looked at it and I said, good boy, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to buy a new windshield. Yeah. But it was no crate, right? Yeah. Now, you may want to have a dog in your car to protect you or that, but, you know, I don't know, for that I carry a gun. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's different reasons why you, you know, yeah. you may want to have, you know, but but I like the dog in a crate for accidents and all yeah. this type of stuff. And then running around in the car. You know, another thing with Jake was <laughs> um, I didn't have him in the crate. For example, I was training protection and I had him. I had this little Mazda, you know, mm-hmm. and I paid like three hundred bucks for it, you know. But you know, it's, and uh, you know, if you want to be doctor and be prepared to be poor for a while, <laughs> and <laughs> or for a long time, and uh, and. You know, and so it was not really hot, uh, maybe 75 degrees. So I rolled the windows down, you know, to leave like air circulating yeah. in the car. And he was in the back seat. Yeah. Back there. I again took the back seat out and uh, <laughs> and I go to this guy. He has this, it was in Scottsdale, uh-huh. fancy schmancy kind of neighborhood. Uh-huh. And he had like a brick wall you know, uh-huh. around his backyard, and my car was parked there in the driveway right next to that wall. And we are training his dog protection, you know, and I'm doing my stuff with protection. I'm sitting in the corner of my eye, man, I can see the dog, my dog flying over that wall, right? So and he, how did and he... I call him off, right? I, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> and I said, how did that son of a bitch yeah. get out of my car? Yeah. So I go to my car, and what he did is that window was cracked. He would grab it with his teeth oh. and just broke it. Wow. <laughs> Crack the window, just just to shatter the safety glass, you yeah. know, to these little tiny pieces. And at first I didn't understand that. Yeah. How how I thought maybe he just broke it somehow. Yeah. And then next time he did it I put new window and, oh. and like two weeks later again. Okay. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what's going on? And the third time it happened, I saw him actually do it. Okay. You know, so I, that's how I figure out. He he would just stick his nose through the crack and, and just crack the window, man. Tough dog. <laughs> yeah, Jake was awesome, man. Yeah. That, he was a true samurai, man. He had like uh, two, he, he had like only one purpose in the life. Just. Yeah, you know, just like, dad, show me who, who should I, who want to hurt you, I'll kill him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was, that's all he was. You know, he's a, oh man, I love that dog. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you tell us at the training, you see this sometimes where sort of newer people and they leave that window cracked and you warn yeah, them, be careful. Be careful, man. You and know, the dog is not crated. Yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah, and that's again yeah. why you put the crate there. Yeah. You know, in the yeah. back seat, just put a crate there. It doesn't have to be big. Just make sure the dog fits in there. Yeah. You know, you have AC going on, you know, yeah. and make sure that the AC works and the sometimes the AC suddenly kicks off, okay? Yeah. So it's good to have on cell yeah. phone 
the yeah. app, you can buy those, yeah. and you have a sensor inside of your car, and you may be somewhere in supermarket, and suddenly your yeah. cell phone comes off, yeah. alarm that you, your heat temperature in your car is hot. Yeah. Another thing is, when you travel, let's say if you have a pickup truck and you don't have a crew cap or something to have a dog in there, yeah. you can put the crate in the back of your truck, and if it's hot, it's one of the things, you know, I got... You know, uh, you, you 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 put an ice inside of that uh, crate, and put the dog so you lace on the crate. Like in Arizona, 110 degrees yeah. or 120 degrees, and I buy this block of ice, and then I buy just to crush the, the, yeah. the ice, yeah. the, the little balls of yeah. ice, right? And I broke these in, and I leave that uh, block, and and it, it takes even in like when it's 100 plus degrees or 120 degrees. It takes three, four, five hours before it all melts. And the dog and, is And I had people, you know, screaming, oh, it's too hot, okay, dog. I said, look at them, man. And they're just laying there on that Not ice. Panting, and they nothing. don't even panting. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to keep dog again in the crate, you know, so. Yeah, I'm all for it. It looks cool, everything. And, <laughs> you know, dog is sticking out, <laughs> sticking the head out the window, and they have commercials. No, no, no. A, no, don't, I'm just don't. saying it looks cool, but it's, it's. I've seen video just the other day. Yeah. Dog on freeway, man. They driving and dog for full speed and dog jumps out, yeah. and then the car's going like this, but yeah. next to you yeah. know, and yeah. and the owner and the passenger they jump out and chasing the dog through the traffic. Oh, it was yeah. scary, man. They caught the dog. Nothing happened, but yeah, man, was that you know that and that can happen. Yeah, it you can know? happen. And while you're driving, if it's not created, <laughs> your dog wants to be with you. <laughs> And uh, it's just like if you yeah, have a bigger and, dog. And, and, and you go to shoot zoom club or train somewhere, yeah. and the dog hears all the action of barking and all yeah. that. Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll eat your dashboard, man. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it. They get excited, and they're just... This guy, yeah. he had a, 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 a... What is it? AMG Mercedes, you know, for like uh, yeah. $120,000 yeah. Mercedes. Yeah. And the dog just shredded his, oh, really? his seat, man. He left it in there. You yeah. know? Yeah. Because they're in protection, and dog get excited, and they start... Biting the headrest and all that—that's an expensive I, lesson. Yeah, and I've seen, and I've seen dogs just completely strip the dashboard to a metal man. Yeah, you know. So you have this. How, how you fix that? I don't know, man. <laughs> That's a bad one. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm all for creating dogs. Uh, uh, hundred percent in the car. Yeah, yeah, don't don't. No. And then again, what kind of crates? Not the wire ones. Yeah. I don't want to make commercials uh, yeah. too much to other crates, but uh, what is it called? Uh, well, I like the Rufflands. The Ruffland, right? They're good value for. They're hard to get. You know, they're they're, 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 they're yeah. because they are so good. You yeah. See? They yeah. Are just, but they're expensive yeah. for plastic crate, but but they're they're good crates. Yeah. What, I mean, I have yeah. so many crates, I don't have this yeah. rough line. If my yeah. dogs destroy the crate, I just go to my yeah. uh, storage and get another one. <laughs> but but uh, if I would buy a crate, that's the one I would buy. It's a good one, yeah, good one. And, you know, the metal ones and all that, yeah. yeah. They can, you see Magnus's oh, dog chewed up that hole in a metal crate, It looked right? like, it, like he opened it like a can. Yeah. Because she was in heat. Yeah. Oh man, just yeah. Size like six inches all around. Look like a <laughs> look like a missile went through. I should it. I should try to maybe superimpose it. Uh, yeah, find a picture and put it. I'll try to put it in where it, <laughs> I'm editing. But it. the dog didn't make it out, you know. No, it didn't make it out, but still. It's but you know metal. the Roughland or whatever it's called. They yeah. They I never seen dog chew it one out. That, that is a tough plastic. Yeah. I've, Another thing which you can do. Speaking of crates. Is the the dogs sometimes get crazy, especially Malinois, and they start spinning inside of the crate. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, you know, like I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, right? yeah. And, uh, yeah. and 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 so so what you do, you can you can chain the dog up to the door with like a little short. Uh -huh, so just I? make sure you don't put the dog on a choker. You gotta chain him up to a leather, up. yeah, wide leather car because if the dog starts spinning somehow on choker, choker, it'll start twisting and yeah. you know and. Yep. Chaining is dangerous, you know, and you gotta know really how to do it. You gotta make sure that that even short chain inside of the crate, mm -hmm. so it stops the dog from spinning and injuring himself from spinning. Yeah, uh, has a swivels, at least two swivels uh -huh. so, on it, okay. so that when the dog spins, if one swivel fails, the other one kicks in. Uh -huh. And even spray a little 
uh, grease on it, you know, mm. so that it 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 spins Moves. really smoothly, you know. Yeah. But that's a that's a yep. you gotta be really knowing what you're doing for that, you know. But but you know, crazy dogs uh, like high driven dogs when when they get excited, they start spinning, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. And it's not that the dog would have a problem with the crate, you know, it's just other issues, just the, just the high drive, you know. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so be that's, careful. I don't know, that's about... Yeah, no, I think that was good. You covered, uh, I told Hans, I said, we should we should definitely cover this because I, I guess I wasn't one of those people that didn't have the, you know, the or dog in the crate and it was, when it was small, I was like, yeah, and I started growing up and want to jump <laughs> forward because I want to be with us. It just it was a pain. I'm like, we gotta create. And you know, yeah. when you travel yeah. somewhere, like you know, like I have this client, yeah. and uh, she says, "Well, I'm gonna go to Albuquerque for a wedding." And I said, "You taking the dog with you?" Oh no, yeah. Are you driving or flying? No, I'm driving. Well, Take your dog with you. And if you're, first of all, I would never go anywhere where they would not allow me to have my dog. Yeah, that's just my rule, right? But if you need to go or have to go or wanna go. Just keep the dog in the truck in the crate, man, or it's in the happy. back seat. That's fine, and get out three, four times a day out there. Let the dog yeah. out, throw him a stick. They're just happy that you're with. They're yeah. with you, you know. They just want yeah, to always. Go. Uh, you know, I, yeah. I mean, right now I have a dog in my car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we drove to LA, Hans and I drove to LA. That he was in the car with us. Yeah, and he says, "What's it?" And he didn't even know for a while, right? We were driving, and and you well, said, just quiet. something." There's a dog in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, he was so quiet. Yeah, he didn't yeah. mind. You know, who was it? Was it Sarko or was no. it was no. it uh, G- Gus? G- Gus, yeah. Yeah, Gus. Yeah, Gus is a quiet dog. Yeah, yeah. he's quiet, but he was content, and it was a long day. Yeah, like, yeah. So. And he was so happy that he was with us. That's yeah, because he the proximity. That's what it's all about. You and know? it's true because I mean, you just walk towards the garage. They know we're going some. They think we're right. going somewhere right. all the time. Right. They just want to go. Like, yeah, it's like. Uh, I always say, you know, people think the dog uh, has to have a, a lot of land and all that. You know, I always say, you know what, that dog doesn't need that. Dog needs to be with you. With you yeah. The dog is a thousand times happier being with you in the closet on than alone on hundred acres. Yeah. 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 That's so true. take the dog with you if you at all. And you'll be surprised how many times you can take yeah. it. Yeah. And hotels, a lot of hotels takes dogs yeah. because the competition right now the economy is bad so they allow dogs more and one more allows hotels. them then they go we got and i know usually hotel six allow dogs and many best, best western definitely more than in the past now right yeah. right yeah. well yeah. and i think all and you can you know you can always take a crate drag it in there That's from the I, car yeah. and, and put it in if you know they had these soft uh they're sort of soft crates in a way. They're they're foldable up. At least it's a shelter. It's like they feel like it's a crate, but and it's got a zipper on it. So they have stuff now. Like it's still a crate, but it's foldable. It's like just eh. I mean, just for for that use for the hotel room, like that, literally that for the night. Yeah, the problem is hotels. A lot of times people leave the dog in a hotel where they go for dinner somewhere. No, 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 no. I meant and the just dog for... yodels and howls and yeah, barks no. and you know, oh, no. shit. No, not for that. No, no. no. Always if you go to. For dinner, no. you know, just put the dog in a car and yeah. take him with you. Let him howl, and he will not howl if he's in the car because it's familiar yeah. environment. They howl and bark in the hotel room because they never been there before and they miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this so. this was good. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, we'd love to have you on our uh, on you know uh, that way we can send you the uh, the new episodes that are available. Um, I usually do an uh, audio version of this, too, so if you don't have time to watch them, you can kind of listen uh, on the podcast, too. Was it Spotify or what is it? Uh, it's on Spotify, yep, yep. Yeah. It's, it's on Spotify, and, and uh, I usually put the link down down below the video of this video, uh, the, the channel, the name of the channel uh, for, the, for the dog podcast. It's Training for Everyday Life, I believe that's what we, mm-hmm. we call the, the podcast channel. Uh, but and then if you go to Alpine K9 Real, then you can see all the videos there that uh, Hans has. These are instructional videos that you can purchase: personal protection, dog commands, uh, uh, the flirt pole, he calls it. Um, you know, and we, we're adding to them too. So when we recorded this, we might not, you know, have some of these videos. But check those out. And he also has a blog there. You can read the blog too, which is awesome too. So right, Hans writes a lot also. So. Um, Check that out on the blog, and and he has you have your Facebook 
page two. Yeah, Hans Alpine and yep. Alpine K9 and yep. Alpine K9 Hans. Or, yep. Was that it? Yes. Yep. And then, and then uh, the blog, as you call it, or forum, as I like to call it, is uh, Alpine K9 Forums with forums. S on the end. Yeah, so... Yeah, and so, the Alpine Canon forums, I'm not too active on it, but there's thousands of posts. Posts on there, yeah. And you can learn all <laughs> sorts of things. Over That's there. been going on since 2013 or something, or how long? Yeah, I mean, I for a long know, time. Long yeah. time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this new website, I, 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 I try to bring those in, those articles, and then just it's the the way it's formatted, it looks really nice. Uh, and the forum is just like a big library, basically, of knowledge. I mean, Hans basically wrote a a book or several book books, or two. <laughs> yeah. you know, already. So um, I got to write a real book. Uh, yeah, and I'm getting mentally We'll see, ready for we'll it. see, we'll see. So I just yeah. sold some puppies today or yesterday and today. So I, I maybe will be able to buy me this computer, yeah. this laptop, just yeah. specifically for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gosh, this book. Yeah, that's a. I know books are a project. It's it's it takes. I don't know uh, but, any I, yeah. uh, people. If it, how many people read still books? You ever want to watch videos? People yeah. want information. Huh? People always want information. Yeah. Yeah. That's never going to stop. So, thanks everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, thank you. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs>